for joining me. Well, today we are up in the home theater and we're adding touches of fall and Halloween. Now, I don't do spooky, scary Halloween. I like to keep it kind of innocent and fun in the eyes of a child. We're talking jack-o'-lanterns. So that is what we're doing today. I created this fall tree off camera. I was just having too much fun this weekend. And I will tell you, this is a brand new tree that I found on Amazon. And I am in love with it because the LED lights are super bright. It offers um, different push options where you can make them, you know, the lights be steady on. You can have them do a slight fade, a glow. Um, there's just different options. And so anyway, I added fall lights in with it. You may be able to see some purple and orange um, right there. So it kind of gives it a different look. I added fall leaves. I added um, a banner. So I've got orange and white pumpkins that loop around the tree. And then I have another one here. These are kind of fun to put in a tree. I've never done that before, but it's uh, very, very cute. I added some fall ornaments that I picked up from Walmart. I added some candy corn. I got these little wood pieces on Amazon. They come in a set of three. They're not ornaments, but I just placed them in my tree because I felt it was fitting for fall. I did some fall leaves, some fall picks up there, and I put zero ribbon in it. I just wanted to keep it simple this year. If you decide to do a fall tree, the best part is once fall is over, you just pull the ornaments off, take the garlands off, and you are done. And the best part, your tree is already up and fluffed and ready for Christmas. Such a time saver. We have this little room here and it's, I don't know, do you call it a corridor? A walkway I don't know um, but in any case I have this long stretch of wall and I thought let's put two of these together and decorate so that's what we're gonna do we're starting here so what I did was I set this as my focal point I knew I wanted to hang some lanterns so I got those installed for the sake of time and then I added two farmhouse lamps. And now this sets the stage for us decorating. So I have shared with you guys many, many times, I love to buy these wall pieces and sort of make them my own. So I purchased this adorable sign on Amazon. And as you can see on this side, you have a little hanger here and a hanger here. I went and got two tacks. And I love using them because you can go right into the wood. You just twist them in and then you're ready to hang. So we're gonna hang this right there. And as you can see, I have a tack there and then one there. And that allows me to hang my sign. It does minimal damage to this piece. You won't even know anything was there if I decide to take those out. Um, but now let's, let's hang this adorable sign. Bye. All right, next, I'm going to be hanging these really cool lanterns. I found these at Home Centric. By the way, Home Centric has a website, so I can't promise you'll find them on their website, but you might, you might be able to find them and they do ship. So right up here, I got these hooks at Hobby Lobby and I'm just gonna hang them from the hooks. Right next, I'm going in with this and this. One is larger, one is smaller. And I'm gonna place them sort of like this. Okay, next I'm going in with some beautiful floral picks. those sort of wispy and natural looking. So 
down below, I'm gonna go in with this basket full of hops. wall I added four shelves to kind of fill in this big large space I already did over here and I just put a wood tray with the letters F-A-L-L -L for fall a copper candle holder with a pumpkin on top and up there I just have a woven tray with garland I love this garland. I got it on Amazon. It's ve very inexpensive and it's very good quality and you can cut it into pieces and it's just very wispy and I, I love it. You guys may remember this sign, Farmhouse. I decided to bring it out and place it right here. Up top, I'm gonna go in with a basket tray. going to decorate right here. This is just a little wall shelf and I'm going to hang a picture and decorate the top. Next, I'm gonna go in with this trick or treat sign. This was from Ross, $7.99, and I'm gonna hang it on my little ladder. I found these two cute little looking vintage pieces at Walmart of all places. Walmart, you guys, is really upping their game with their decor. And I thought these were kind of fun and cute and innocent looking. So we're gonna decorate with these. I wish I had a third one. Actually I do, but I'm using it in another display. We're gonna do something right here with lights, greenery, and these guys. So I wanna add a wreath and I think I'm gonna do something like this. I'm gonna make it my own. I know it might look a little busy and crazy. Let's try it. The reason I added this galvanized steel little arch piece is because I'm gonna be adding a lantern over here, also in wood and galvanized steel. So it'll all look like it goes together. And now some lights.
turned out really cute. I mean, you gotta use what you have, right? And I'm all tapped out. So this is done. Now let's move on to another table. Okay, next we're gonna decorate the top of this and we're gonna add a Halloween wreath. We're gonna go in with this wreath. I want to share with you a new wood riser I found on Amazon and you know I always like to share these things so you guys can see the quality uh, but when you get it in the mail you just uh, the little feet come bubble wrap you just screw them on and you're done but I'm not sure if you can tell but it's got little beads or balls right here that are slightly distressed and then the legs are also a really nice natural color also it looks like whitewashed or distressed so super cute just i love the detail the detail is what sold me on this by the way i love using risers because you can literally create any kind of display you want right here all encompassing right here on a riser so i love risers for that purpose so i have this lantern i like it because it's wood and then it's got the black handle but what i'm going to do is not put a candle in this i am going to put this uh, both of these pieces i got from home centric <music> This is the other little pumpkin fella that I found at Walmart. Again, I can't believe these are at Walmart. They're so cute. Look at his little pants. I love black and white. Here, for the sake of saving time I added that and this and that's gonna do it for the top shelf here I kept it the same I've got together we make a family that was from Hobby Lobby so was that and now I want to add something right here and now I have this hammered black jack-o-lantern and I'm gonna place an LED candle on the inside area and so we need to decorate the top of that next I have this cute uh, milk can jack-o-lantern and to that I'm gonna place some LED candles on the inside I'm placing three candles on the inside By the way, in this little lamp tray, I just put some of these uh, adorable pumpkins and one uh, resin acorn. And then when this lights up, it'll kind of light all of these up. I found this um, modern looking wood riser with metal legs on Amazon. I just got it the other day. When it comes, it comes with this little template thing and, um, and then you just screw the legs in. It's not pre-drilled. Um, you just screw the legs in via the little template, but I like it. It's different, you know? 
So, and I was looking for different. So this is it. I think it's simple and cute and for movie watching with all these little jack-o'-lanterns um, turned on the candles turned on um, it's gonna be so cozy and fun watching movies here this fall and what else oh and all of them are on remote so I can just literally point and click and turn them all on and turn them all off it's awesome All right, are you guys ready for a tour? Let's do it. wrap up my video for today if you guys haven't seen the movie fall and you like suspenseful um, on the edge of your seat kind of movies you need to watch this we watched it the other night and I was like biting my nails the entire movie it was very 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 suspenseful so uh, anyway you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you next week Mwah! bye guys